<laughs> anyway, um, oh, number two, The Walking Dead, season three, episode two. Oh, fuck, man. I watched this last night. Just, dude, is it just me? Is The Walking Dead now the best TV show I've ever watched in my life? <laughs> Literally, the first two episodes of this season three are so much better than any episode I've ever watched just... of it before. <laughs> Unfucking believable, like how good this is. Yeah, it's what we wanted from the past. Well, mainly the second season where they had those lengthy periods of dialogue and nothing seemed to happen. Yeah. So it's I good just, to see. Uh, I think my favorite thing about it is like, like they hinted at the end of season two. There's gonna be spoilers in this, by the way, guys. So if you don't want to hear it, just skip ahead a little bit. Um, like I love this, like Rick. He was hinted at the end. Like, oh shit! Sorry, dude. <laughs> right? What the fuck is that? I just want—I want to go on spill because I saw a news thing that I was wanted to look up, and it had one of those automatic playing adverts. Uh bullshit. But sorry, they hinted at the end of the season that Rick was a badass. Now, like he was like, "Fuck it, I'll do whatever it takes to survive and t- and keep this group alive." Yeah. And every episode, they are re- reinforcing that this man is literally at the edge. Yeah, and he will do anything to you know, like to, you know, he, he'll kill. He, he, he'll cut. He'll cut. Now, cold-blooded murder. He doesn't give a shit. Like if it keeps his group safe, he'll he'll kill anyone who gets in his way. Oh hell yeah! Like I oh, fucking love the prison, the prisoners dynamic with the survivors, where the survivors know how to take care of zombies, and, and this is how you shit. take him out with the least amount of energy. Yeah. And the prisoners are like, the fuck is going on? Like, they don't know. Yeah, they've been trapped in that room the entire time. So they are just going mental like you do when you first see the zombies you don't because it, oh that because they've been battle like, people make will take him out and they just go like prison <laughs> as he put it prison riot bullshit yeah <laughs> he's just saying well because they uh rick t-dog and uh daryl have become really battle hardened and they know what to do and they know how to work to yeah, the strength the least amount of effort you, you know you take him out you move on you take him out you just move on yeah you know, there's no need to panic or worry about it. You just gotta, bang, let's do this. Let's go. Let's take him out, dude. But the, oh, just the whole thing with the like the 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 prisoners, especially the guy with the gun, the head of the prisoners. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, he was always in their face, like you know, fuck you, f- fuck this. You know, you can have what you know. He, he has one gun. And he's just like, this is my prison. Like, you guys can go over there if you want. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our prison. And then Rick's just like, you know what? Fuck you. This is our prison. If you come We've near me, blood. I will kill you. <laughs> we spill blood. And it, but I just love that. It's just like, if I see you near me or any of my people, I will kill you. <laughs> and he fucking means it. Just like no, no bullshit. No like hinting what he'll do to him. Just no, straight up, I will murder you. And then they they. They do eventually come to some kind of compromise, though, in the sense that they give them. Like, a, I like how they look. They get half a prison. Yeah, box we'll, we'll help you find a cell block. If that's what you want. For half the food, uh, you know, and uh, for half the food, yeah. And I like that. Like, and they go into that food. There's plenty of food and there's stuff like that. So they're they're okay. But the bit where, you know, uh, the pe- the bad guys like turns the zombie around and throws it onto Rick yeah you know and, goes, and he tries and to shit happens and yeah. Rick he, he also tries to you see it he's clearly that guy when they're fighting he's trying to stage an accident because he focuses the he zombie swings on yeah he Rick. swings it around almost hits Rick in the face throws the zombie on top of him he's like oh you know shit happens he, Rick's like yeah shit does happen yeah, and then he whoosh, machete to the face. I did not expect, <laughs> and I was like, "Holy shit!" I didn't expect. It. I thought I thought he'd pull his gun. Yeah, but it was just like, "Nah, fuck this!" And then instantly, T Dog and Daryl instantly cover the other prisoners. Yeah, like, and it's really proven the fact that Daryl is Rick's right hand man. Daryl, that's how this is going to work. Been badass from day one. To be fair. I've always fucked. Yeah, he always been, but Rick's really realised that he is actually destined for this world. Yeah. Uh, I have to admit, I don't know. I don't know if I like the fact that Rick left um, 
prisoner in that courtyard with the zombies. Yeah, I I did think that was a bit kind of. I was sort of like at the time I was like, yeah, fuck him, dickhead. But then I was just like, he panicked. Yeah, he was only like a. Other way, you shoot him in the head. He was a fucking little kid as well. He wasn't. He looked like twenty. Exactly, he wasn't. Exactly, yeah, a massive. It's threat. showing that Rick is literally willing to do anything to protect his group. Yeah, he's not fucking around anymore. Mm. He's not fucking around. And also, as mentioned last week, um, Carl. Oh, Carl just... is a fucking badass, man. Like, oh, well, like how how he goes off to find bandages on his own. Yeah. He's just like they need bandages, they need medicine. I killed a couple of. Oh, get it's, it. it's no big deal. Yeah, I took out two walkers, and then his mum like, Wah! and he, he's like, you know what? Fuck you, mum. You're not even a good mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I imagine how he says it. <laughs> you fuck, daddy's uh, best friend. <laughs> and also, like, you know how they lock up the two? That they gave, they they do keep their word. They for half the food, they give the prisoners a, a place. You know, they 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 say just stay away from us, and you can live here. The two prisoners that are left, exactly, because they like beg for their lives. Yeah. Which I'm like, I was sort of like, at this point, just kill all of them and take all the food. Yeah, you've killed one. Like, they are a risk. Like, you saw how they were with the zombies when they first saw them. They were stabbing them in the guts. They weren't doing what they were talking about. No. Just kill both. The guy like, just got both scratched. Of them and take all the food. It sounds cold-hearted, but that's just, just do it. Fuck it. All this is going to do is come back and bite you in the ass. Exactly. But... Again, you know, if that happens, that will just prove to Rick that any mercy you can't have in this world. Exactly. He's got to be you know, a dick. He's still trying to hold on to his humanity, and unfortunately, this world's going to eventually rip it from him. Exactly, man. But I also kind of like the idea of uh, her using um, cadavers to try and perform a C-section. Yes. That was... Well, you know, because... Uh, that was an interesting idea. I was like, I actually never thought of that. You know, they need medical training, basically. The knowledge. And how do they train on cadavers? Of course, that's a great idea. Yeah. It's grim, though. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucking... Like, I was like, her uterus isn't going to be working correctly. No, but it's, it's a good idea. <laughs> it it like might she not says, be there. Practice this shit. They say it's been about 10 months. Yeah. So, the prisoners, the prisoners said they've been locked in there for 10 months. So, it's been almost a year. Yeah. Uh, since the infection happened, those bodies are fucked. <laughs> exactly. And um, so, uh, what was I going to say? I love the bit. Every episode so far, as well, midway through, it's, it's got an amazing piece of film where they take you away from the action and something emotional happens. Where Herschel wakes up was in this episode. And they play that really sad oh, song. Oh, that was where it. And, you know, the girls start crying. And then in the first episode, they all, like, um, uh, what's the dude's name? What's the Chinese guy's name in it? Glenn. Glenn, yeah. Glenn and his uh, girl he's with, they kind of, like, share a little moment together after a hard day zombie killing. And they play that really emotional song over it. And yeah. they just gather those little moments of where they take you away from the action and just give you the little human bits. And they do them so well. And yeah. the music they use for it just makes it... It's just excellent in the context of the zombie killing that's happening around them. Oh, oh, definitely. I also really like they're doing this. Uh, every character, like everyone who's because they've uh, lessened the cast, yeah. uh, you know, uh, because of you know them dying off and things like that, they've got it down to more manageable size. Yes, and it's exactly. they've teed a character. They made him a badass. Yes, yeah, so they made Carl. They made him a, a, a like a zombie killer. Exactly. And no one's putting up with Laurie's yeah, bullshit. And Laurie's kind of like accepting that she's a terrible no person. No one is. Like, yeah, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You know, even when like uh, she goes, well, mate, do whatever you have to do to kill, you know, if you've got to kill them, kill them. And I love how Rick mentions that she said that Shane, and then she's all bitching and whining a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, wicked. It is excellent, man. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, I think that... What was your, actually, quickly, what was your favourite part about the episode? Oh, it's a tricky one, but I I think it was when... um 
when Rick um, got the zombie thrown on him. Yeah. And it was kind of like a hairy moment. It was like, shit, Rick's going to die. And then Daryl just <laughs> fucking stabbed that zombie in the back of the head, ripped him off, picked up Rick. And I realized then they've actually formed a, an amazing team. It was that awesome link as well when, like, as Daryl picks up Rick, you see in Rick's eyes just saying, to Daryl, we're going to kill him. Yeah, and they know. And as soon as, you know, as soon as uh, Rick starts killing, they're all on, on his side. No questions asked. No. Just, we'll just kill him. Like, you know, if that's what we're going to do, survive, we'll just kill him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and that is, that's kind of have to, how they have to be in this universe, and I like that. Exactly, man. I, I love the fact that they just finally just accepted everything, and they finally just don't give a fuck yeah. they're just like this is how we have to survive now here's what we're gonna do oh uh, yeah like it doesn't matter 